Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just on Fan TV. Back at you, another video. Like the content. This video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, we back on kind of regularly scheduled programming. Uh, you know, the Ravens haven't played football on a Sunday in three weeks. You know, you get Thursday night, Monday night, then a bye week. So, you know, it's been a little while without that. But back on the regularly scheduled programming, uh, Ravens versus Panthers will happen this Sunday. Uh, interesting news for the Panthers, obviously, is that P.J. Walker has a high ankle sprain. So now the Ravens get to go against Baker Mayfield, who he has familiarity with the Ravens. Ravens have familiarity with him. So obviously he's a new defensive coordinator, so things are a little different. But still, it's interesting, you know, uh, going and thinking you playing one guy, end up playing somebody that you've seen in the past, right? But anyway, what I want to talk about this video is the fact that the Buffalo Bills lost yesterday. And with them losing to the Minnesota Vikings, it kind of has blown the, the, the number one, the race for the number one seed in the AFC kind of wide open. Now, all the teams that are in contention fighting for the number one seed have three losses except for the Kansas City Chiefs who have two, right? So that means the teams that I'm counting right now, you got the Chiefs, the Bills, the Dolphins, the Jets, and the Titans, right? Now the Titans, I don't really know what too much to make with them. They're going to probably win their division because the division's not very good. But outside of that, I don't think they're going to make a real run at the one seed. I don't think they're very good. Uh, the Jets have a really, really good defense. But what's going against them is that they're they're in a fight with Buffalo. They're in a fight with Miami because of the same same division. And also, the play of Zach Wilson just isn't consistent enough to say that I think that they, they, they can win in spite of him. I, I just can't see that happening, right? So, for the Ravens, the three main competitors to me for that number one seed, you got the Chiefs, the Bills, the Dolphins. Now, the Ravens will be in great position because they should have beat two of these teams already, which is the Bills and the Dolphins, obviously, and been sitting at 8-1, but that's not the case. So, the case is the Ravens are 6-3. I wanted to look at these last these three teams remaining in the schedule because we know that the Ravens have the easiest schedule remaining in the NFL, and if they handle their business, they could be looking at the one seed, right? So, the Chiefs play the Chargers, the Rams, Cincinnati, Denver twice, Houston, Seattle, and the Raiders. So, Chargers could be a good one. We know they're missing some players. Um, Denver twice. I mean, it's just, I know Russell Wilson and them ain't playing that great, but still a divisional matchup. Cincinnati could do us a solid. So, the Chiefs have some games in there. Even Seattle. Seattle's lost a couple games in a row, but we know that they're playing way better than expected. Geno Smith and those guys are kind of rolling, right? Um, now, as far as the Bills go, Cleveland, Detroit, New England twice, the Jets, Miami, Chicago, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's in there again. Uh, Cleveland, New England twice. You know, Bill, Bill, Bill Belichick has a... The last couple times I've been so great against Josh Allen, but, you know, still an all-time great defensive coach. Um, then that Jets defense that got him the first time when they played in New York. Now they get to play him in Buffalo. And then Miami again in Buffalo. So the, the Bills have a little bit of a tougher schedule remaining as far as the division goes, but they still uh, get to play those guys, a lot of those games at home. So we'll see how they pull it out. And then the uh, the Dolphins, right? They got the Texans, the 49ers, the Chargers, Buffalo, Green Bay, New England, and the Jets. I would say that out of the games from out of these three teams, the Dolphins probably have the toughest slate because 49ers, Chargers, Buffalo, uh, Green Bay, New England, and then the Jets, those are no games that the Dolphins can sleep on, right? Houston is probably their last easy game remaining this year. So the Dolphins could be in for one. Um, but really, what I'm really bringing this up is the fact that, like I said, the Ravens have the, have the easiest remaining schedule in the NFL. Um, that means they're playing. They got four games left in the division, and they, st they still got to play the Panthers, the Falcons, the Broncos, um, and one other team as well. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But the thing that's going to be in the Ravens' favor is the fact that they're getting these key players back. Mark Andrews has had to come back. Uh, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins. The return date is not really clear for uh, Marcus Williams, but we're thinking they're thinking sometime in December. So he'll be back. Now, the big issue for me, big issue, is that the Ravens, over their, their history, this is not just since Lamar Jackson or anything like that. This is dating back to even Joe Flacco. They've had an issue of playing down to their competition, right? They have games on the schedule that should be easy wins. Oh, the other game is Jacksonville. There we go. So those are the four games. Uh, they have an issue of playing down to their competition, right? Now, the Ravens have a real legitimate shot at the one seed for the first time since that 2019 season, and they need to grasp it, right? So this team has to show control. They have to show um, real maturity and makeup to go and get that, right? Now, the last six quarters of Ravens football have been 
pretty dominating if you ask me, right? That second half versus uh, the Buccaneers. I know the Buccaneers scored some touchdowns, but to me it was kind of petty stuff. The game was pretty much over. Um, and then the um, the entire game versus the Saints. The Saints game really should have been a 27-6. to You know, the Ravens had that little lapse in uh, thought process at the end of the game that kind of, you know, that, that kind of allows the Saints to score that touchdown. So the Ravens are coming off of the last six quarters of dominating football. Can they keep that up versus a Panthers team who has been very good, who has been struggling um, on and off, really? Fired their coach. This is the kind of game where the Ravens have to, once again, assert their dominance and not let up, right? This is this game right here is going to tell me a lot about the direction that we're heading in. It really is, because if the Ravens come out here and dominate the Panthers how they should, then we know that we could be in a good spot going forward. But if they come out here and it's one of these games that's a nail biter for no reason, I don't know. But... I really want to make this video because the Ravens need to snatch the opportunity to be the number one seed. The number one seed is the only seed now since the, uh, obviously the NFL expanded the playoffs to seven teams making it in the East uh, Conference. Number one seed is the only seed that gets the chance at the bye week. It's the only one. So no longer the two seed gets the chance. No, just the one seed. So if the Ravens can snatch the one seed to have that bye week for one, right, get players even healthier, and then two, have the whole playoffs come through Baltimore again, now you're talking about a team that has a real chance and a real setup of going to the Super Bowl, right? But it, it kind of is time to put in the work, right? The Ravens, like I said, I'm saying it again. I said it multiple times. The easiest schedule remaining. You got to handle business, right? Ravens have six wins. They're going to, at minimum, they're going to have to get to 12. Uh, so that's six and two. If they could squeak out one more win, get to seven and one, and get to 13 and four on the season, that probably, not as no definite, but that probably can get them to one seed. This year, because if you look at it, the Bills and the Dolphins have to beat up on each other. So, that you know, one of them has to get them L's from that kind of game. And the Chiefs have some tough games remaining, right? The Chiefs are still a really good team. Patrick Mahomes is probably the MVP of the league. It's either him or Jalen Hurts. So, you know, those guys are rolling over there. Nothing against them. But the Ravens have a chance. That's all you can ask for in the NFL is a chance. Now, you get yourself the one seed, you get yourself the best possible opportunity to make the Super Bowl, right? So, fans, we got to look out. We got to look out for this team and see what's happening because, this, like I said, this game versus the Panthers is going to tell us a lot. If they come out here and dominate the Panthers start to finish how they should, that's going to be a good omen. If they don't, it's going to be more wait and see, all right? Uh, I wanted to make this video talking about the Ravens, you know, just having that chance, need to snatch the opportunity. Tell me what you guys think. Do the Ravens have a real legitimate shot to one seed? Do you think they get the one seed? Um, if not, uh, tell me the games you got them losing, all right? I will talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.